Now we would like to call upon the stage our very own Arijit Maharaj for his words of blessing. Maharaj, please, grace us. Om Namo Bhagavati Ramakrishnaya. Swami Vivekananda left the mortal coil on 4th July 1902. That was the Mahasamadhi day of Swamiji. Just few months before, and as far as I remember, on 18th February 1902, Swamiji was writing a letter to Swami Brahmanandaji Maharaj, the then president of the Ramakrishna order and the bosom friend. And I quote, if in this hell of a world you can bring a little peace and joy for a single day to the heart of a single person, that much is true. This I have learned suffering all my life. All else is mere moonshine. Very significant words. You see, what is the speciality of a student of Ramakrishna mission? I think this idea that we are not living our life for our own sake. As much as I can do, as little we can contribute to bring a little piece of joy for a single day, for only one person, that much is true. And that is why, again and again, Swamiji tells us, they alone live who live for others. The rest are more dead than alive. Dear student brothers, you are now matured enough just to keep a highest ideal in front of you. And this is the ideal. And this is a speciality of a RKM student, of a Vidyapit student, that we are not going to live our life only for our sake. Be and make. Be good and do good. Atmano Mokshartham Jagadhitayacha. So we will always be in the process of being and becoming. But at the same time, we will take along others in our vicinity, wherever we are. And that is the ideal. If you remember, Swami Vivekananda then was a college student. Narendranath Datta, very brilliant, extraordinary, but he was a genuine spiritual seeker from that time onwards. One day, he was in front of his guru, Bhagavan Sri Ramakrishna Dev, and Thakur asked him, Naren, what do you want? So that spiritual fervor, was there. And that's why Narin told Thakur, I wish that I would remain immersed in Nirvikalpa Samadhi. And that is all. So you see, this is a very highest state of realization that a genuine spiritual seeker should long for. And an ordinary guru should be very happy, yes. This is the answer that you should give. But Thakur was not happy. Shame on you. You are just thinking on of your own liberation. I thought that you would be like a banyan tree. Many will come and take shelter under your shade. And you are just thinking about your own welfare, your own mukti, your own liberation. No, Naren. Don't think so low, just be a banyan tree. 
And you see, we all know that we are not Narendranath Dutta. We are not going to be Vivekananda. But the ideal remains same for all of us. Within our limited capacity, wherever we are, we should be a banyan tree. As much possible, the shade we will deliver to all the persons coming to us. And that is the ideal, dear students, for all of you. And this is the speciality of being a student of Ramakrishna Mission Vidya Pit. This batch is very special to us, really. And we love you very much. And your centenary batch, and I should not use the word grateful, but really we are grateful to you that as volunteers, you have managed the mammoth task of holding that centenary celebration so well. And all credit goes to you. And perhaps, and perhaps it was skipped for you. Perhaps this is the divine wish that you would be here to manage all these things. So from our code of art, we extend our best wishes and love to all of you. One thing which I tell every year, and I will continue to say so, that you see, you are not living Vidya Pit. Rather, you are going to carry Vidya Pit with you. Wherever you will go, you will carry the spirit. You will carry this ideal. You will carry Thakur Ma Swamiji. You will carry Baba Vedanath with you. So it is good for us that you will be the ambassadors of this ideology, this philosophy. You will be the flag bearers of this ideal. And never forget, this is the task that is bestowed upon you. And this has also become very cliche from my side, that you are always by Vidya Pit, of Vidya Pit, and for Vidya Pit. And these are not mere words. You just meditate on these words, and you will find the aptness of these words. But yes, the greater responsibility is there on your shoulder of becoming truly by Vidya Pit, of Vidya Pit, and for Vidya Pit. And lastly, I will just give you three words, faith, hope, and love. Throughout your life, just concentrate on these three words. Faith makes everything possible. Hope makes everything work. And love makes everything easy. So, May our lives, may your lives be best on these three words, faith, hope, and love. You will excel in your life, there is no doubt about that. You are all extraordinary boys. Our best wishes is, are there with you. The blessings of Baba Vedanath is there with you. The blessings of Thakur Ma Swamiji is there with you. The blessings of Vidya Pit is there with you. Om Ayushman Bhava. Om Shakti Maya Bhava. Om Nirmala Bhava. Om Nirbhaya Bhava. Om Kripadhanya Bhava. Om Niramaya Bhava. Om Buddhi Yukta Bhava. Om Santushta Bhava. Om Bhaktiman Bhava. Om Priyaman Bhava. All the best wishes, always, for you. Thank you. Namaskar.